Hi, private practice owners. Ever wonder what the eight minute rule is for submitting medical claims to health insurance? If so, you're in the right place, as today I'll define what the eight minute rule is and show you how to calculate the units. And right below this video, you'll find a link to download a PDF table that helps to convert service time into units. And if you're interested in learning the ins and outs of insurance billing, I have a free on-demand video course covering everything from insurance credentialing through coding all the way to getting paid by health insurance. I included the link for you to enroll and other resources below this video. Before I dive in, if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed to our channel, click on the bell icon to get notifications about our new videos that cover private practice, billing and entrepreneur topics. Let's get started. What is the 8-minute rule? The 8-minute rule is used with timed based CPT codes, so timed services. And it allows therapists to calculate the number of units they can bill for specified timed service. The eight minute rule is required by Medicaid and other but not all private insurers. So it's important to familiarize yourself with each insurance requirement on the eight minute rule. When does the eight minute rule start? With the eight minute rule, the timer begins when you start providing skilled services. And it's important to remember that the gathering information, as, as assessing and educating the patient are part of skilled services, particularly when you use that information to guide intervention strategies. How does the eight minute rule work? According to CMS, for any single timed CPT code in the same day measured in 15 minute units, providers bill a single 15 minute unit for treatment greater than or equal to eight minutes through and including 22 minutes. If the duration of a single modality or procedure in a day is greater than or equal to 20 minutes through and including 37 minutes, then two units should be billed. If the insurance company requires that you follow the eight minute rule for timed CPT codes, remember to report the number of units on the claim. So here is an easy to follow table um, that helps you with converting time spent with the patient or a client into billable units. And if you are taking this video course on our website, I will email you um, the PDF and you'll have this information handy as well too. So as you see, if you spend less than eight minutes with the client or patient, this is equal to zero billable units. So at the minimum, you should always see a client for eight minutes if you are billing the insurance with timed CPT code. Uh, another example, if you see someone between 8 to 22 minutes, this would be one unit. Um, 83 to 97 minutes, that would be six units. So when you fill out the CMS 1500, if you uh, submit the claims on the paper, you have to enter the number of units. If you are using an EHR, uh, to submit claims, your EHR should give you an option to enter units along with the timed CPT code. If you don't, your claim will be rejected. And of course, you can always fix this, but keep in mind that if you have to use timed CPT code, um, follow the eight minute rule and make sure to enter the units on the claim as well too. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know by clicking the like icon below. And if you want to learn the ins and outs of insurance billing, check out our free on-demand video course. I included the link for you to enroll below this video and some other resources.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Have a great day and see you next time.